All right, so let's customize our emails and text reminders. So it's fairly, fairly simple. It gives you initial confirmation, reminders, cancellation, rescheduling, following up, and if you have a gift certificate order and anything like that. So let's go through the initial confirmation email template. So right now we have active template. Start with our um, email subject line. So new appointment, wonderful. Uh, percent type, this is like what we call short code. So it's like bracket, first, bracket, uh, last on whatever time with whatever calendar. And this is how it looks like in the email. So let's see if we can highlight this and align center. I guess you can't. Uh, so this is what you see and what you get, editor. So you can change the HTML, which is going to look crazy. Formatting, you can always do that. H1, H2. Underline, deleted, so like cross off. Under, on order list, order list, outdent, indent, image, link, horizontal line. Font family, font size, font color, and background color. Then you can insert field. Sys. This is the field that they pre-created for us. So first, last, phone number, email address, appointment type, duration, time, name of the calendar, link to view, edit, and export, and price. Everything is done here properly. I usually don't really mind it. Like I don't even touch most of these things. So that's, if you do want to create a new one, say for example, this is just for group consultation uh, then you can edit whatever you want like but you know what just how do I delete this remove this oh, there you go so it's very easy okay so let's go to the reminder so it says here, up to three reminder emails can be sent to your clients on optionally admins prior to use and extra ones. So there's reminder number one, 24 hours. Sorry, the uh, airplane's flying over. There's an air show going on right now at CND. So you guys know when I'm recording, it's on Monday. Uh, so this is great. Uh, text message is awesome. So it's available with your plan. So learn more. Text message is available if you're using a growing business or powerhouse plan, uh, which I'll show you what they are afterward. But text message is great, right? Like, I don't know what else to say about text message. Text message, text message. It just makes it easy. People have a phone, right? Uh, so send this to the clients only uh, or clients and amends or receive a single daily agenda of upcoming so you can do a lot of different things enable agenda then then you can set it you don't have to modify it uh, email template is the same and making sure you're doing that so you can add three reminders so you can Add extra ones, add extra ones, an hour before. See, they, they even set it up for you. 24 hours, 48 hours, and one hour before. Save setting. So easy. I always, always, always send this to admin. You have a copy. Great. That's it. Uh, so let's take a look at the cancellation. Cancellation email is sent to you and the client immediately after, after an appointment has been canceled. Like I said, do not change this template unless you know like really specifically what you wanted to do. What I will personally do is, oh, you write over here and then you say, um, um, if you like to book another appointment 
please add to uh, huh please add to whatever yeah just like that say template you can change this UHREF, open link, and just save it. Okay, so that's the cancellation. Rescheduling. So reschedule, have this available already. Uh, it's the same thing. Follow up. Follow up is crazy. It's, it's, it's so awesome. If you guys don't have this set up for follow up email, you're missing a lot of money. So you can actually set this a day after only send this if they don't have any upcoming appointment because you gotta be able to be smart with this email marketing is the gold for any business nowadays you don't want to annoy the shit out of people I know I said the shit word because people do get annoyed if they have like a gazillion email guess what it won't even they would just drag it to spam box uh, safe setting uh, making sure that you are and then obviously, how was your appointment? And you start writing, I hope you enjoyed it. Please take a moment to tell us from 1 to 10 10 highly recommended about your experience in our business greatly appreciated for your time thank you and then you leave your like And then you leave like, a name. Just be nice. I want to teach you guys why you have this. Uh, this is called MPS, uh, Net Promoter Score. I'm gonna like do something really crazy about it in the next video or so. Like, but this is this is good stuff. You always, always, always want to write this, but only, only, only after they don't have any upcoming appointments whatsoever. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the last tab, which is package and gift certificate order. This is sent to you and your clients after a product, gift certificate, or appointment package is ordered. It is shown on the final thank you page after uh, purchasing. So this is that, notes, you know, write any notes here. Honestly, there's not much to see here, but this is the preview of it. Order received, awesome. Okay, that's that. So that's all there is for the customizing and e email and text reminder. Uh, I hope you guys are utilizing it. Again, if you don't understand this too well, just go back to it and watch the next video. The next video though, I'm going to show you how you can accept payments right on the scheduling page. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.